guys, it's Marisa. In today's video, we are doing a beautiful BB Craft project share. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I just want to start off by saying thank you to BB Craft for sponsoring yet another video. Their website will be in the description below and they have a YouTube program if you have 100 subscribers or more that will be in the description and all the links to all the products will be in the description as well and I have a code webpage 5 where you can save $5 off of a $40 purchase alright so let's start with the project share Alright guys, so thanks to BB Craft, let's bring this camera down so we can see what I made today. So first of all, I just want to start off with what I use for all of these projects. I used these nesting dies, it's a whole set, these beautiful square ones are all gold colored. I don't know what shape that is, but they're really cool, they're like frame dies. And then we got some beautiful star dies and it's all a set and they all come together. They're really, really great. I keep on using them in all my projects. I cannot stop using them and they cut really, really well. The next set is these beautiful uh, bling stickers in two different sizes and all different colors. You got the smaller ones right there. I really love them and the larger ones. It's a great variety and I am always using them as well. So I really enjoy using those and they stick very well and I love them, really great. And you get about 11 sheets. And here is the stencil that I use. You get five different patterns on one sheet. This, I use that, those two right there in this project. And it's a pretty durable uh, stencil and very easily cleaned. So I enjoyed using that as well. That will definitely come in handy with a lot of my projects. So let's get started with this. This is the first project on this pour painting I did. I used that stencil right there in the center. And I thought that went beautifully with this very cool pour painting I did on this pretty big uh, wooden star. And I did a video a long time ago, I'll link it right there, Two Minute Tips with Maurice on how to do stenciling um, a little bit better where your edges are very crisp. So I have a little trick. And here on this first card, I used the star dies, the nesting ones, and I layered it three times. I put a little bling on top there. I went really pretty with that pink paper. And I used all the dies in this one and the uh, stencil as well. I used that other um, die right there and that weird shape one, a little frame. I used the square one, I used the other stencil uh, design and I used the star as well. And I popped that up as well to make it look like a real frame for that beautiful piece of paper in the center. I just made a lot of Valentine's Day inspired cards uh, this time and I used a lot of pinks and reds so, oh yes, this is a little, I used the square die and I used the both um, sizes of the bling stickers and I thought that really went beautifully together. And I'm going to save that for another project, but there is the square die. You'll get very many different sizes. So up next is a Memdex card I made and I again used the square die and I just popped that beautiful uh, dream catcher on that piece of square paper and I put some flowers and here's the back of it and I just left that side empty to put my information so there's that pretty Memdex card there I just couldn't stop using all these dies in so many different projects and there's just a piece of paper there I use the square die again to show you the stitching. It's a little hard to see in that one, but I have some foiled paper with all these projects I made. So this is like probably my favorite uh, project I made. I love the contrast between the colors, and there's again the square die in the center. And the 
there it is again with some bling on the side. Just the light papers and the dark papers went beautifully together with that like golden bling on the side there. And then on the back, I, I just layered these stars. I did it three times and again I used some pop dots to make add some dimension to the card. That's probably like my favorite one. So in this one, I used that weird shaped die and those were like other dies, but that went really well with my dies I already had. And here I used that one again. And again, I triple layered the paper with some pop dots. I just popped it up to add some dimension. And that paper is really nice. It's like this pretty cardstock. Old pinks and reds in that uh, cardstock. So I thought that came out really, really nice. Yeah, these dies cut very well, very easy. So I just showed this card in another video of mine, a haul video, but I did use the die inside the card yet again, the square one, my favorite, and I've been just using them in all my projects. I just They just work so well, and it just goes with so many different projects that I want to do. There is a huge tag. I love that die, um, that weird shaped die, because it goes really really well with like more vintage antique projects it just goes really well um, it has like this kind of antique mirror feel to me that's what it reminds me of and that's why I think it goes well with you know more vintage stickers or papers and here's just a piece of paper this is what it will look like and you can actually use this. Um, it is scrap. You can actually use these on other projects if you want. And here again is a square die and this beautiful card. And I just want to show you the stitching because the stitching really pops up really, really well there with the foil paper. And here's a little bling sticker right there just to add a little touch to the card. And here's the inside of the card. And I just love these papers. They're so pretty. I like the contrast with the black and the flowers and the pinks. And that is the back, just plain, but the papers are beautiful. So that is that. So that's it guys. I just want to let you know I love these dies and I love everything I got. Thanks to BB Craft yet again. I hope you enjoyed my project share, my review. You know, if you want to get some of these uh, items for yourself, everything will be in the links below. Their website and their YouTube program, don't forget about that. And all the products and my code will be all in the description. So thanks guys for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Share it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.